Hello, check out this cool app I created on App Inventor to control this Wi-Fi node MCU ESP8. robot car let's see it work these are the buttons that I created let's see it navigating around oops I'm currently powering it via the 3.3 volts LDO on the node MCU board. I'm going to connect it to an external power source straight to the battery power bank at 5 volts. The age bridge, the motor driver, is a dual motor driver that rotates two motors according to the direction. It is a very easy setup. It simply got a power bank, a node MCU, and a simple motor driver. Now, let's see how I did it. Here is the making of it, how I did it, this is the user interface I created buttons for the operations move forward, backward, turn left and right and another button, stop this is the alignment of the buttons here are the buttons is anything interesting? Ah, that's, the, the, that's just the design part now the most important thing is the web connection. As you can see, I got different connections that give a different query to the same IP. This is the, I, the ESP8266 node MCU IP address. And as you can see, it is sending a different result. Each number represents a specific action. Turn left, right, forward, and backward. Now let's review the block segment. When the button is touched down, I don't want it to click because I only want it to work when I press it. When I release the button, I want the car to stop. So when the button is touched down, I'm doing operation one. Operation one in this uh, instance, button one is the stop button. Button three, when I touch it, it calls for web connection. A get request. Of web two, when I release it, it goes back to web one. Web one is the stop command. When I touch a button, it does something, and when I release it, it does something else, which is the same for each release of the button, and it stops the smart car. As you can see, the blocks are very, very simple. I assume that I'm going to work it with the orientation or the accelerometer later on. But in this tutorial, we'll stick to the buttons. Each button is calling something when it is pressed down and when it is released. It stops calling for web one. Now let's review the Arduino code. Let's review the code. This is the ESP8266 library that I'm using. Over here you enter your router SSID, afterwards your password, and we begin the server on port 80. You can choose whatever port that you want. These are the motors. This will rotate the left motor forward using the bridge and sending one and zero the correct pins I 
after all this will move the right motor forward these are the pins d5 and d6 next next we are going to use the left motor backwards and the right motor backwards and afterwards we implement the movement if you want to move forward both of the motors need to rotate forward if you want to move backward both of the motors need to rotate backwards if you want to turn left the left needs to rotate backwards the right one needs to rotate forward and if we move right the other way around stop all now will immediately stop the entire motors this is simply a stop command we define all the pins that we need on the ESP, on the node MCU we stop the motors if for some odd reason they <laughs> activate or whatever and we begin the Wi-Fi is connected now when we are reading the request we are either getting a value of 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Other values are of no importance to me. Each value is being assigned to a variable int called val. We are later going to check what was the value and move the robot car by it. If we got operation number 1, we need to move forward. 2 is backward, 3 is left, 4 is right, 0 is stop. And if we got a value that is different, it is neither 0 up to 5, then we're going to stop it all now. And here we return the answer. You can also use it on a browser and simply type the IP of the ESP with GPIO slash 012304 and watch the car moves according to the command. The code is very simple, very easy, quite straightforward. Short code. Have fun.